Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Diaries of Death um, Season 4 with Geoffrey Delors who is trying to make his way in the wilderness of Skyrim as an archer uh, who is focusing on bows and uh, zero magic whatsoever. That's kind of the recap as you can see from our stats on the left hand side. We slowly but surely get faster. We're now at 104 move speed, which is great, but we're still lacking on the armor department. That's what we're going to work on today. As you can see, I've spent our hard-earned cash in a horse. Uh, so that's 6,000 gone, leaving us with a sweet 1,000 gold pieces. Uh, we are going to uh, start today's episode with uh, buffing up. We do have the potion of resist piercing, but I am going to drink that as and when needed, but it, because it's only 60 seconds. So if we're fighting archers, uh, we will hotkey that. Marksman strength on the other side. It's a little bit longer, but still not uh, minutes at end. So I think we're ready to go. Hunting bow is still poisoned. And our target, we've uh, met up with the Jarl here in Falkreath. Our target is the uh, Bildergulch mine for a few more bandits. Afterwards, we do have uh, an, an uh, opening here in the Uttering Hills Cave, which will be, um, I think, a few advanced bandits as well. So we're trying to get those last levels up in and getting a few more bounties. And I am actively considering uh, to go to Bleak Falls Barrow uh, to then also do the dragon fight here. Don't want to be a dragon born as uh, always. We're like picking one shout that uh, would make uh, that would make sense. And I think for this build here, it's going to be unrelenting force just to push the enemies away. We don't want them in melee. So a classical shout, but uh, still definitely makes sense to uh, put that into the build. Uh, we, as uh, in the typical other episodes, uh, will use money in order to purchase the uh, shouts. So it's a thousand, two thousand, five hundred and five thousand uh, to get all of the three iterations. And it uh, represents his uh, yeah effort to go to the graveyards, essentially learn the word. Uh, those who aren't familiar, you can learn words if you're not the Dragonborn. And we wanted to play kind of a low-power character here. Good. Joffrey is off uh, into the wild, uh, wilderness, and we see each other at Builder Gurcha Mine. We have reached the mine. It's time to knock friendly, say hello. And time to definitely not get killed here. How did that one miss? Nope, still not. Alright, is it a problem with our arrows? Apparently it is. Good, so that guy is down. We still got a few more enemies over here. Not sure what exactly they are doing 
on this cliff side. But believe me, they are not supposed to be here. Orc's great sword, steel sword, orc's helmet. Well, that all looks good, but uh, we don't need that at the moment. main reason why I'm opening the chests and even going through that painful process of the game is I am hoping to receive more insights. Typically, they are in chests. Alright. What is going on with the arrows? It fe uh, feels like that one also went straight through him. Got the key to the mine. Healing potion. Inside, yes, great sword, not necessarily. Uh, that one isn't bad against undeads, but I don't fancy myself fighting against undeads in melee. Not at all. And we got plenty full of uh, loot down here. Plus a skill book. Good. We got a couple more locations to explore. So that's just a start. Next up, I would like to take on knife points rich now that is another really interesting uh, location so see you there the infamous knife point rich one of the harder bandits camps if not the hardest for a start Gotta be on point here. There are a lot of enemies. Trying to use the slopes here to our advantage. Keeping uh, these massive boulders as a form of protection against all of the archers. Okay, now we need to really wait until we are healing up. This is not possible elsewise. Let's get one of the better potions. Might as well, whilst we're at it, 
repoison the bow. Healing again. Our resistance from projectiles came in nicely. That definitely paid off. Still need to fully uh, regenerate. Because there might be a trickster up there. Tends to be one in here. And I don't want to get one shot. Race dead and stupid uh, spirit wolves. Well, the race dead might come in handy, who knows. There's even an inside uh, of this massive camp. But before we do this, I think we should loot everything. Couple of archers up here. Another scroll of summon wolf. I gotta get a few new healing potions. I gotta make a few new healing potions. This is quite draining. Helpful increase for marksmen, that's good. And can we open this? Would be great if we could at least bash open novice locks. Yep, the answer is yes. Saves me embarrassment when trying to open them. Okay, Elven Shield, cool. A bit of Orc meat, also not bad. But I think that was pretty much it. Normal Amulet of Talos. And quite a few... Quite a few potions. Plus, of course, an entire mine to mine from which we might use a little bit later when uh, when we're creating our own ammunition. For now we haven't specced into um, smithing, so I'm still purchasing and 
gathering arrows wherever possible, which is also the reason why we're looking like a garage sale instead of having an organized proper inventory of arrows that we can use. Good, there's one more cave that I would like to do, which is over here, Moss Mother's uh, cabin, and we're going to go there next. Good. Thank Chinnereth for you, stranger. I don't Who are you? Enough. Name's Valder. I hunt out of Falkreath. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Neils went down. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Uh, hurts to breathe. Yeah, take a potion. To get going. <sighs> much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. Yep, let me help you. For a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. But I thought it was just <clears throat> a couple of wild animals. Spriggans is a no-no. So, a bit of a change of plans. Spriggans will come in later. For now, we're going to return uh, the bounty and then I think we're going to do uttering uh, Hill's cave and I think Elsie needs a visit as well so a bit more bandits good we find ourselves right at the banner mist tower we got another uh, bounty you think a bad time to get lost, friend. are you kidding me what is happening with the, the bow Good. One down. Two down. And three down. Good, that should fulfill the bounty here. It's really just a quick one, uh, but I wanted to showcase that every single bounty helps. Specifically when you're trying to make a name for yourself. I thought we could climb around and cheese this tower. Bit of lock picking increase, uh, which reminds me that is something which we should skill before we get anything to level 50. Because boy, oh boy. I'm not good with lockpicks, and this is getting costly. Cool. All right, back to the Yarl, and then off to the next cave. Okay, time for some treasure maps as a short uh, interlude. I was riding around and just ran into uh, two treasure maps in particular. One was from a bandit camp that we did earlier and another one was found when riding around uh, Windhelm. So let's, as per the last time, Look for the Dragon Bridge key. Oh, this is number seven. 
map number seven that is. There is the chest. Amethyst. Two insides, it's good. Lots of septums. Fiery grasp. And we don't need any of the rest. Off we go. So next stop uh, we're going to go for treasure chest number four which looks like uh, this treasure map number four that will be around white run good here we are we can oversee the city of white run right here on the mountain ridge and and we found ourselves the second treasure chest. Some more insights. More money. And even more money. I'll take that. And I'll tell you what, I'll also take that. Good. Time to sell all of this. And see you in a second. Good. Time for us to poison our weapon. There's another poison right there. Come on. There's a patrol, right? Speaking of the devil. Okay, so far so good. Solid first two kills. I remember how this cave was really difficult with the melee build. No, get me wrong, range builds do have their fair share of challenges later in the game. When these enemies are not uh, going down that easily. With the right ammunition, you can still do it, but it's costly and time-intensive as a preparation. So, funnily enough, these builds here start out uh, stronger, but are essentially becoming more uh, weaker over time. Armor definitely reduces uh, the damage of archery quite a bit. I'm not going to... Uh, diminish or reduce the quality of archery builds they are definitely viable builds what was that? like that sniper archer or stealth archer That's just killing everything with one shot that's gone in Requiem. Alright, wrong corner. Try again. How am I missing these? Like an old woman. 
Okay. Ooh. Yeah, she certainly with her dwarven armor had quite a bit of armor rating. <clears throat> I think that was even the boss. Well, maybe it was. Good. Time to loot the rest here. Then that. Okay, great. That worked much better than I would have anticipated. <coughs> Quite a slaughter. And now it's off to Elsie, uh, Elsie who is the last banner that I want to do. Hopefully we're strong enough to then uh, pick up some other quests. Maybe the Forsworn with enough poison resistance. Uh, I definitely would need an amulet uh, of armor and smithing just to increase our armor rating also. So that'll be our next purchases to focus on it. Let me uh, do Elsie and then we're going to, uh, to do all of the purchases. Good, we're finding ourselves at uh, White River Watch, and we're going to do that plus Elsie next. Bandits are going so easy with this build. Might as well keep on and make us some experience. <laughs> nice hit. Okay, originally I just wanted to ride by and see what's happening. But then I got attacked and I do have that thing when we're getting attacked that uh, I just can't let that slide. They could have stayed out of trouble. I would have never messed with them, but they chose war, so here we go. Good, although you're blind, can't leave any witnesses here. Sorry, my man. Good. Oh, 
three of them down. Ray said, summon flame at Trinaco. I'll keep that for sure. Well, we got ourselves a nice little bit of loot there. Hunting bow can stay. Cash loot. few more archers. Very good. Well, let's just double check. Um, could use some more meat, I suppose. Already looted him. Healing Poultress could work. We're almost at our capacity, so. Eating off some food. Bear. That's all cash loot. Lots of this is cash loot. We need one less here. Okay. I suppose we have a staff and that staff is quite heavy. Poison of Frenzy is good. Let's see, we do have one Poison of Frenzy which I do not need, but Fortify Health would be great. As we're running right into an enemy. Alright, bring it on. What, you're just going to stand there? Remarkable healing po uh, potion. That is good. Those are pretty nice. But they are above our carry weight. Tell you what. Um, we do have fortify carry weight, so... We're actually going to take these bad boys. And we'll sell them. Good. More loot. I think that should have been it. Okay, quick round of selling and then we're off to Elsie. Time to fail is Elsie and her band of mischiefs. Straight up hit. Gotta be careful with all of uh, the archers. Let's 
So we are withdrawing. Walked right into that. I definitely deserve that hit. That's new, they are bum rushing us. Potentially because they know that they wouldn't win on the long range. Okay, it still hit. It looked like it was like an incredibly wet noodle. Maybe a graphical glitch. And I should definitely get proper arrows going like this year. It's an embarrassment. Uh, we are going to use... Oh, Sheros. I will loot all of them afterwards. Even that can wait. Um, but what? want to do is all right so the spirit wolf fell down the stairs okay that can happen see us fast and she means business she's called ILC the spiker for a reason but we are fast as well this guy is out of stamina on reaches. Well, too bad for him. Hello, Elsie. Fantastic battle staff. I like that. Poison resistance 50%. Well, isn't that cute? I like it. I will sell that and, and or get the poison resist enchantment. But on the other hand, we can't. Unfortunately, you can't like transfer that. No, the arrows here are too valuable for those long range shots. So off to basic bitch arrows. Okay, apparently today I am sniping quite well.
got almost done with all of them. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to play that slow. Getting frame rate drops, and apparently there is another sniper over there. down there now I can see you thank you well that also makes sense ocean of healing yes please I think we haven't used as many as I would have assumed we would. That is why I like mages in ranged combat. Some people find it more difficult uh, and really like the kind of up and close combat. But if you know how to move and if you have a decent quote-unquote aim, I don't believe that this game really has like a deep aim system. You just need to uh, sort of be able to point uh, towards the enemy. But if you have that, specifically if you can dodge very well, then I feel these builds are making the game much more easy. Okay, we have 29 chances to get that one right. Oh, come. Granted, for our skill level, Adapt is already pushing it quite a bit. Orcish Bow of Burning. Hello there. Well, that's definitely an upgrade towards our longbow. What are we dealing with? Like... We're looking at 116 points. Holy moly. That's really good. Good. Let me loot up uh, the rest. But we can already start with leveling up, I guess. Yes. Very rewarding very rewarding tour so we're going with marksmanship 50 very good uh, next up we're going with uh, dexterity at least 45 I'll just get it to 50 as well.
And that already uh, used up all of our points. We got greater points, which uh, will be going into marksmanship. Uh, not enough. Okay. Cool. So. Health. Yes, please. Stamina. Yes, please. Health. Yes, please. Stamina. Nah. Another health. Uh, then stamina. Nice. We're level 12. Right off the bat. We're increasing our ammunition, uh, penetration, and we're getting marksman focus, which will be a game changer for our for our archery game. That is the next big target, quick draw. So that's a great option. In terms of dexterity, we finally made it to 45, which is efficient drawing in 80 which is quite a bit so that can wait we could upgrade it further I am starting with uh, smithing we need to do it uh, anyways Advanced blacksmithing for extra uh, tempering would be good. We still have two perks. Don't want them to go to waste. I mean, look. The major, we got the major uh, things out of the way that are important. I think we can continue with smithing. The question is, do I want to go all the way up to here to do glass smithing and improve that? Or am I relying on given bows, existing bows? And we'll just do kind of legendary uh, smithing. But that might be a risky maneuver. Being able to temper more is actually quite helpful. Specifically, um, later getting a bit heavier armor because I don't want to play a glass cannon build. So I guess we could do this. It's a bit of a waste. Maybe we're just saving the perks. I don't need it right now. The moment that I need it, I would do it. We could go into one hand and start this. We could go into sneaking. That would be a nice one, but we are not yet having any sneak ranks. That would be something uh, to level soon-ish just getting more skills to level 25 really yeah we're we'll keep the perks for smithing this is the next big one 50 smithing and elemental arrows are definitely definitely important levels uh, for level 60 so that's one um, avenue that I would like to go the sneaking is is a nice neat feature another option could be alchemy but I don't want to spread ourselves too thin look at that we got nice little focus now Good. I think that brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, Joffrey has done a great job in killing a lot of bandits. I think it's now time for a bit different content. So I'll think about what we are going to do next. Maybe I can muster the courage 
to go for some undeads, which would be the natural progression. Uh, Bleak Four Barrows could be one of the things uh, with enough silver arrows uh, to do. Um, another one would be getting a unique armor and a few bow upgrades wouldn't be uh, too bad either. So let me shop around and see what I can do and see you in the next episode. Um, if you have the ambidexterity like, uh, um, uh, like Joffrey has, your dexterity also increases over time then. Maybe uh, as a little test, click that like button and see if your dexterity has already reached 50. You'll see the result eventually. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.